So what do you think if like in the, um, let's say item managers, so we have um, a method of get items, get all of the items, and we have a method of get item details. So do they belong to the same class or somehow we can, you know, uh, separate them? Because let's say in the item list, uh, we use only get items and we have another screen like item details and we get the item details there. And if we want to separate them into like different modules, so let's say module with only item list and a model with item details. So just, should they stay in the same class or we better break it down into like, because they look they look like very similar, right? So get items and item details, very, very similar. The same like, the same responsibility. Yeah. So like this, right? We have an item service where you can get items. And if you want to get more details about each item, you need to call another service to expand that item, yeah. right? So I, ideally, you would separate them into two protocols if they are used separately, right? If they are used in different modules, like one module gets items and another module will get item details. Then mm -hmm. separate into protocols and each protocol will live in its own module. Now the implementation usually don't live in the same module. We will live in another module. The implementation, if it's convenient for one implementation to have both, because they share a bunch of things. If they're using the same backend, for example, they will have the same base URL. It would only change the path, or they may have the same uh, requirements for the headers in the, the requests because they're using the same access token, because it's talking to the same API. So it would depend on the implementation. If it makes sense for them to be implemented in the same class, mm -hmm. that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. But that's an implementation detail that should not affect your modularity. Okay. Exactly. It could happen. So it depends. The answer is it depends, you know, but if you want to break them down, it should be easy. Maybe that's like, that can help you decide. But mm -hmm. you're using Firebase. You have a Firebase items service that implements both. Mm -hmm. And it's like this, both the items and the item details comes from the same Firebase container. Because they are together, it makes sense for the, they are in the same container. It makes sense that they are implemented in the same Firebase class, yeah. right? Then it makes sense for them to be here. Now, if you say no, uh, this item list comes from one container, but the item details come from another container and they have different configuration, they have different API rating limiting, they have different headers, they have different, then you separate them because it doesn't make sense for them to be together. Or maybe come Firebase, you have a list of items from Firebase, but then you get it from, I don't know, Google Cloud, you get the item details and images or Google Photos. Different service that gets different details, so you separate them because they are different, Yeah. right? Yeah, makes sense. There's no hard rule. It's whatever makes sense to the case. Yeah. They're coming from the same service with the same configuration, just different endpoints. Maybe it makes sense to keep them together, like an API implementation here. But if not, then you can separate them. Yeah. By the way, again, this is in the program where you're going to see also the UI side as well, if it's going to be together or uh, bro broken down the navigation <laughs> as well, you know, how to handle that. So, yeah, with patience. Great. Yeah, great, great. <laughs>